I think where Reverend Rivers and I agree, Anita, and, and we've not always agreed on tactics, but on goals, right. is that you've got to fight the traditionalists. That's if right. we went back in biblical days, you'd have to fight the traditional rabbis, That's right. but also these new publicans who call themselves academics That's right. who just make a living criticizing anything black. I mean, right. for people to make a living criticizing black leadership right. for white institutions right. should be just automatically you've got to suspect their conclusion because right. they're employed to do right. that that's all i'm saying right if, you're if all your job is is to pick on black leaders and you have nothing to do with black life right then i've got a question what you well, are you questioning this because that's what you paid to do or are you questioning this because you have a real question because exactly. at the end of the day, if black leaders answer their question, they ain't going to black churches, black organizations, That's black right. neighbor, nothing. They still right. are, are, are living in a total removed world. So right. their questions are not seeking an answer. But, they make a living making a question. That's what I was reading. passion is genuine. That's and right. when they're really there for people and they're really trying to make a difference, it's, it comes through regardless right. of what what um, the ti your title is or what right. you're trying to do. The passion will come tr through as being genuine. Right. That's right. That's absolutely true. And Reverend Sharpton is correct. What has to happen is that this movement has to go across denominations. Right. All across the black community. He's, and he's entirely correct. We need to have a, a, a revival and a renewal movement that goes across every one of the black denominations as the black churches increasingly have to meet the needs uh, in this economy and, and given the conditions we have in the inner cities. Right. And Reverend Sharpton, I want to commend you. I listened to you last week and you invited that brother that had been incarcerated to come to the table and speak from a person that, uh, from, from their point They had been view, through that, that's right. Instead of people saying what we need, there's never anyone at the table saying for us... And, to and I want I that brother you. at our car because he lived it, he knows it, this is not some removed. I'm in the trenches, but I didn't do the time in jail like that. He has to live that all his life. We need to hear that and understand right, what that is. have a different perspective. Much that's different, right. and was abandoned in many ways by the people in the community that should not have done that and has to stop that. Thank you, Anita. Let me take a break. We'll be right back. I've kidnapped Reverend Rivers for the long haul. Thank you, My Reverend. haul is an indictment of divine disgust and where the black church dropped the ball. We got a brand new black church on every corner, yet our communities lay in ruins. And personally, as a gospel minister of 30 years, I have a problem with that. But now, let me say this. Of the letters to the seven churches, only one of them, God found only one of them faithful. That's the church at Philadelphia. And I'm not talking about Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It says, <laughs> because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So then we find that God got a day fixed and a time set, brethren, that he is going to judge the world in righteousness. Now this church, at, at uh, this end time church, which I believe that we are the terminal generation that mm -hmm. will see the resurrection, the rapture, tribulation, and Armageddon. What does God say to this church at Laodicea? He said then, so then, because thou art neither cold nor hot, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. That's right. God That's say, right. You, God say, you, you say that you are increased with goods and have need of nothing, and know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I yes, counsel sir. thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And he says, Anoint thine eyes with eyes, that thou also may see. As many as I love, though I chasten, uh, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Now here's where the, I believe that the church is off the ball. Let's go back to the infant church of God in the book of Acts chapter. Where we drop the ball at, Reverends, is we, uh, a concept that, that uh, the infant church of God, the pooling of resources was the infant church of God, and that's, that's right. where we drop the ball at. It's, what does it say? It says that uh, the, 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 the attitude of the believers were of one heart and one soul. Well, uh, Neither right. said any of them of all of the things they possessed was his own, but they all had things in common and yes, with sir. great power and, right. and gave uh, the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that liked, for as many as were possessors of houses and land and so forth and so on, they they laid them down at the apostles' feet, and distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. 
and and so this is where we've dropped the ball at. And this concept, reverends, is yes, going to have the church is going to have to rediscover this. Uh, if, if we don't, we are going to be exterminated as a species. And you know what? Judgment must begin at the house of God. And and you know what? This is what's going to have to happen. And I pray with all that is in me that that the, that the black church rediscover the pooling of resources to help right. our people in these last days. Amen. Amen. I just say this. Go ahead, Reverend Rivers. Yeah, brother, listen, I applaud what you say, and it is absolutely true. One of the most studiously uh, ignored verses and chapters is that fourth chapter of Acts and the, the economic koinonia, fellowship, that comes out of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now, the challenge is, what does that mean in 2010? What does that economics mean? And part of the challenge to the church is to figure out how do we properly distribute wealth so the neediest among us are not without. And so I completely agree that theologically, biblically, politically, we must re-engage these key texts right. that outline how we should have economic justice among God's people. All right, let's go to Deshaun in Detroit. Deshaun. You keep it real yes. with Al Shout. Hey, God bless y'all for doing this program. Um, I'm on the on level right now, and uh, um, what, what what comes to my mind looking at this situation and that our people are in right now is the Valley of the Dry Bones. Okay. And the response that the Lord made when He said, um, uh, uh, "Therefore, prophesy and say unto them." Uh, unto the, said, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall okay. place you in your own land. And when I look at our situation, it's like we are, our, our, our cities, yeah. And everything is like yeah. dead. Yeah. And and um, uh, once we return back to God, I believe that he's going to return back to us. But we have to right. find out who we are right. as a people, for real. Right. And I believe that we are the children of the Most High, the children of Abraham that was scattered, that was, that was prophesied to be scattered in the, in the last day, and we are waiting the Messiah to come back. Okay, that, that's the only reason I'm here. I'm sorry. You're good. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, no, look. The dry bones concept is entirely appropriate and, and and the reality is i see a a revival coming within the churches there is a revival coming there are people like reverend sharpton there are people like bishop blake there are all kinds of men of god and women of god across the country that now are feeling the same thing that the church is now more than ever must deal with this let me say something reverend sharpton made a very powerful statement on april fourth two thousand eight at the 40th anniversary of the Martin Luther King assassination. And he talked about the whole idea of, 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 of Martin Luther King bringing us to a certain point. And now the church must engage, in, engage the black community and the stuff. It's one thing to get out of Egypt. Now we've got the challenge of getting Egypt out of us. And the and, wilderness mentality right. out of us. That's right. That's right. Which we need the church to do. Let's take a break. Rev. Rivers with us a few more minutes. Keep it in real. Shopton. We'll be right back. Hello. Stay tuned for Keeping It Real with the Reverend Al Sharpton. Call 1 532 5797. And stay with News Talk 1090 AM, WILD, Boston. BlackAmericaWeb.com Boston and Nation's infotainment source for African Americans of Boston and around the world. And tune in to the Time Joyner Morning Show with Sybil Wilkes and J. Anthony Brown and others like Jackie Reed with Inside the Story, D.L. Hughley, Jeff Johnson, The Reverend Al Sharpton, Stephanie Robinson, comedian Cheryl Underwood, Huggy Lowdown, Roland Martin, and the rest of the TJMS family. Only on one station. We mean one station that wakes you up. Partying with a purpose. Still number one in the city of Boston. Boston, bar none. Roxbury, Dorchester, and Mattapan are still waking up to the Time Jonah Morning Show. The Time Jonah Morning Show. Only on ILD. There's not a pirate radio station here in Boston today in the black community in Roxbury or Grove Hall 
Can't catch the times on the morning show. The times on the morning show on 1090. Bloggers can go on these radio message boards and crap on 1090 WILD. Want WILD to fail. Just talking loud. Texting behind the computer and ain't doing nothing nor saying nothing. Time Joyner is still the man. The man. The Time Joyner Morning Show. Weekday mornings only on classic soul and R&B. 1090 AM. I just love Time Joyner. W-I-L-D. This is Travis Best. I want to thank you, Boston, personally, for being loyal listeners like yourselves that are still waking up to the Tom Joyner Morning Show. 1090 W-I-L-D AM. That's the people station, baby. Oh, oh, oh. It's the Tom Joyner Morning Weekday morning, 6 to 10 a.m. Eastern, only on Classic Zone R&B, 1090 a.m. W-I-L-D.